Hi, Arts Together families and preschoolers. We start most of our dance classes with a warm up, usually a brain dance warm up. And so I have some brain dance videos that are becoming your way. Um, first, I wanted to explain to your parents what brain dance is. Brain dance is a series of movement patterns designed to integrate the body and the mind. The flow of exercises follows the developmental process and patterns that babies go through as they're developing their central nervous systems and their brains. So brain dance was developed by this wonderful dance educator named Anne Green Gilbert. She's from Seattle. And brain dance, it strengthens our mind-body connections. So we, we usually do it at the beginning of our classes and then move into whatever thing we I have our earth ball that we often use in dance class. Today we're going to talk a little, just a tiny bit about Ireland since just a few days ago it was St. Patrick's Day and in, for St. Patrick's Day we're celebrating Ireland and everything from Ireland. We live here in North America and we talk about this sometimes, how far it is to get to another, another country or another continent. To get to Ireland we would have to fly on an airplane all the way across the Atlantic Ocean and Ireland is right over here. Another name for Ireland is the Emerald Isle. And that also means the Green Island. Why is Ireland called the Green Island? Well, Ireland is very green because it rains a lot there and the grass just grows super lush and super green, partly because warm ocean currents go close to Ireland and make it a little bit warmer so they don't get as much snow as some places that are as far north as that. Here's a picture of a beautiful rolling hill in Ireland and Ireland has lots of old castles, lots of fairy tales and stories of leprechauns and things come from Ireland as well. So because Ireland is called the Emerald Isle, which also means the Green Island, Today's brain dance is going to be all based on green things. So we will start with our breath. We're going to do a green snake breath. So here we go. We will breathe in. And then as you breathe out, hiss. And you can breathe in. Let your arms be the snake. Breathe out. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in and out. Now for our tactile, for waking up our skin, we're going to imagine that we are a green bumpy alligator with bumpy skin. Feel that bumpy skin and give it a pat all over. If you were an alligator, you would have rough skin. Let's actually see what it feels like to put our alligator body down on the floor and just feel that ground. I'm, on, I'm outside, so I'm on the grass. But our next one is core distal when we reach towards our belly button and away. We're gonna pretend that we are an egg, an alligator egg. Curl your body up. And now we're gonna hatch out of our alligator egg. Stretch your alligator body. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And Oh, pretend there's another baby alligator. There's another egg. Ready and stretch, 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 stretch. Another fun green one is the peas and the pea pod. So you could be a little tiny pea inside the pea pod, or you could be a stretched out pod. Moving on to our head tail. For our head tail, we have a beautiful rolling hill just like the rolling hills in Ireland. So we're gonna arch our back up to make our back the shape of a rolling hill. And then release. And arch it up and release. And we can also pretend to be an inchworm and lie on the ground. And then bring our bottom up and our head goes up and then stretch it back out. Let's do that again. Bring your head and your bottom up and stretch it back out. Good. Let's see. Everybody, go ahead and spiral up so we're standing. <laughs> to 
and here we are for our upper lower. For our upper lower, we'll start by planting our roots in the ground. It will be a beautiful springtime green tree, waving your branches gently at first, and then you can pretend a storm is coming. And now it's just gentle again. And that was for our upper. For our lower, let's do some frog jumping. Frog jumping. So what we'll do is we'll push our hands into the ground and then kick our legs up. So we'll push our hands down and kick our legs up. Good. We can also do a little leprechaun dance. They do the jig in Ireland, and this Karen doesn't know exactly how. But you can just hold your arms still, put them on your hips, and move those feet, and do a little jig. <laughs> Here we go. Moving on to our body side. We'll start with a butterfly. This beautiful butterfly with green on it. So you're gonna open up your butterfly wings and close. Open and close. Open, turn to one side, close. How about if you move the wings on one side and freeze the other side? And then how about if you switch it? Good, for body side, we could also do a tree frog. <gasps> or we could do a lizard on the ground. Side, side, side. How about backwards? Very good. For our cross lateral, I say let's start with this beautiful macaw, this green parrot, and open up those wings. This is a special parrot. This parrot reaches across its body and touches it feet, its feet on the other side of its body. Cross, up, cross, up, cross, up. But we could also pre we pretend that we're a super slow sloth, covered in algae. They move so slowly that their bodies sometimes are covered in algae. And we could slowly crawl, slowly crawl on our branch and then settle. Again, Miss Karen forgot to do eye tracking. So I'm gonna pretend my thumb is that beautiful green butterfly. And I'm gonna watch it fly by. I'm not gonna move my head, only my eyeballs are tracking. And then I'm gonna get one. Only my eyeballs. And lastly, for vestibular, I love this one, a maple seed. It is like a little helicopter. So you can find a spot where you can just spin and spin and spin, just like those seeds do when they fall from the trees. That's all for now, Arts Together families. I look forward to seeing you again. Let's just have one more look at our brain dance green things version in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Thanks everybody. See you soon.